Mm. Thank you. Oh, yeah. died in the room. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you seem to have approached it very much um, on your own terms. Would, 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 would you uh, sort of say that or agree with that or think I'm completely nuts? <laughs> no, I think you're probably barking up the directory. I think, um, um, well, I mean, it, um, it all started in 1992, <laughs> I think, when, when um, the, the guys in the band at the time uh, left the band and I stopped trying to make sort of um, REM type sort of guitar y, you know, indie music and decided to make just music. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's it. I've not really looked back since then. Mm-hmm. It's been a kind of just uh, yeah, do it yourself and hope everybody else likes it mm-hmm. sort of idea. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, um, um, as I say, I, I may be completely wrong, but I sort of liken you in a way uh, to sort of Gavin Friday uh, in mm-hmm. in the sense of. Um, Say your 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 stage persona, your you know your personality, in the sense that mm. um, you you are offering people something a little different, uh, something a little fresh, um, and, you know, away from yeah. typical mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, I think Gavin's probably a bit darker than I. Am. Yes. But um, but uh, yeah, I think yeah. although. I, I tend not to look at it as much as a sort of an alternative to other people, but sort of more just better than other people. Yes, yes. Now that seems very uh, uh, sort of not exactly the height of humility, but um, uh, I, I mean it's, it's simply that we, we like to sort of uh, take everything to its limit, you know. To, to I mean, everything sort of started to come together for you as far as sort of commercial success, um, sort of about 95, hey? Yeah, yeah, Cats um, Nova, but... Yes, that's right. Up. Yes, yeah. and, and was, you know, was, did, did you expect to do it on that album, you know, in the, in the sense that you sort of had set yourself some kind of a, an agenda that you would like to achieve, you know, that yeah. you could see that it could get, it could hit an audience that big? Yeah, I, th- I think um, the first two albums were very much sort of just uh, reveling in the fact that I was being able to sell records that with with uh, um, without sort of particularly having to do whatever what I was supposed to do, you know. Just uh, uh, but then after a couple of those, I thought, well, it's it's time to start sort of knuckle down and um, try and become. Um, Sort of uh, a bit of a pop star or something. Because, mm. um, uh, you know, as a teenager, I was always into the idea of being a pop star. Okay. Um, just seemed like a, a, a fun thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I thought, I think with Casanova, I thought that this, this was um, the time uh, to get, get the ball rolling, mm. so to speak. Mm. And with the first two albums, we sort of developed a, a reasonable fan base, uh, and that sort of, I think, Casanova was sort of sprung from that. And how much, how much would you say of, um, you know, of your personality that you have is actually um, reflective of, of who you are? Um, or uh, pure affectation. <laughs> um, uh, my, um, it depends. I think I, I sort of choose my persona for the part of the business that I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I mean, with Casanova, obviously, I, I, I went full tilt for the old um, lounge lizard type mm. uh, Bert Bacharach yes. persona. Yes. But that was really... For, uh, it was a means to an end, you know. It, the album was was kind of a reflection of the sort of easy listening mm. stroke lad culture, you know, mm-hmm. that was in it in its prime mm-hmm. in '95. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was kind of I was a complete caricature of myself at the time. Yes. Um, but I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but r- with this new album, I've kind of tried to swing the emphasis back on the music, really. Okay, okay, so... <laughs> maybe away from the smoking jackets and right. the chaise longs thing. Yeah, t- talking about that new album, um, what what are people in for? Um, if they have, say, um, you know, 
uh, been a fan from day one or maybe picked up, say, from Casanova onwards? Yeah. Um, well, it's even bigger and better than before. Nice. Um, I, I, I think it's, you know, the best thing we've ever done. Um, because it sort of, it takes in like the, the best bits of all the previous albums if, in a way and just sort of takes it one stage further um, it, it, it's a bit more serious it's a little less flippant but then not much because there are sort of um, I think maybe the jokes are just much bigger and less obvious. It's like uh, you can't see the wood for the trees in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, sort of subject matter, um, pretty much on the same lines, or, or did you tackle tackle new ground? Casanova having done what it did for you, um, that the whole expectation uh, sort of vibe was that there, or did it sort of actually give you that sort of a, a level of confidence that you, you know, that you could perhaps uh, push the envelope mm. a little further on this one? Yeah, um, after after Casanova, we we did a, a short album about love, which is a sort of a yes. seven track uh, orchestral thing. That was the live and um, hmm? was that the live one? Yeah, yeah. Well, pretty pretty much live. Yeah. I, I actually overdubbed all the vocals, but never mind. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, little secret. Uh, well, we never really claimed it was live. <laughs> <we> just, <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that one sort of gave us the confidence to use an orchestra mm. um, properly. Mm. Um, but with this album, we, we kind of, uh, I think we planned it all a great deal better than usual. Mm. And, um, you know, it, it was actually quite... from here now that all the hard work Ooh, has been done. Cool. Those, I think, um, <laughs> play the record to everybody. Yeah. Um, where to go? Um, I think I'll just let that sort of, um, <coughs> um, sort of drift around in my mind mm. for, for a few months mm. just to see. Because actually, <coughs> excuse me, I am... Um, this is kind of my favorite bit of the creative process when you have absolutely nothing yes. and you're sort of starting from scratch again mm -hmm. and you can, at this moment I can choose exactly you know, what I want to do mm -hmm. for the next one mm -hmm. and nobody can tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's an enviable, enviable place to be. Yeah, it doesn't happen for long though. Yes. Once you actually decide what it's going to sound like then suddenly you have to sort of let everybody else in on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, also, also now, I mean, it's the interpretation part, which, you know, you're going to get every man and his dog coming back, which um, I think must be an interesting place mm. in some respects. Oh, it's, it's always fascinating to know what people think. Mm. 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 Well, Neil, great. Thank you so much for your time. I know it's at a premium. All right. But uh, yeah. all the best with it, and uh, who, who knows, you know, maybe we can, we can uh, drag you down here at some point. I'd love to come. Great. I, I had cousins living down there for a long while, but I never got to go. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, there you go. There you go, but uh, good, good luck, and thank you so much again for your time. All right, cheers, Jason. Cheers, bye now. Bye-bye.